business booms downtown, we're also seeing a high turnover for restaurants and cafes in Buffalo. Just last year, we saw the popular restaurant Ocean shut its doors. The Elmwood Village lost Hero Burger and Newberry Street Cafe not long after they opened. So what's going to give a new spot in the Queen City the power to last? There's a new cafe on Genesee Street, and they think they've got it figured out. You may have already tried their coffee, too, even without stepping through their doors. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us at Overwinter in Roosevelt Plaza with details. Hi, Twilan. Good morning. Good morning, Anna and Katie. We've got two friends who think they can overcome that. Uh, the business is closing in the area. This is a really visible storefront in downtown Buffalo, right on Genesee. Josh and Ben, you guys are friends, your owners here. Um, but tell us a little bit about why you think that you can stick around. I, I think people love good coffee, and I think people like new, exciting things that are a little bit different. And I think we try to do things a little bit different, so I, I'm hoping that'll succeed. Yeah, and so you guys actually, this is not a brand new venture for you because you've been doing coffee for a little while, right? Absolutely. Yep. We do wholesale and online orders, things like that. Uh, we supply a couple other cafes like Perks and Grindhouse locally, but we decided to try this on our own and give it a whirl. Yeah. And what makes you guys so different? Um, it's a little bit of how we do things. We do a lot of single origin coffees. We don't blend coffees. We try to retain some of the flavor notes in coffees so it doesn't just have the note of coffee. We sometimes have fruit notes or other things like that. All right. And we're going to come over here. Ben's our coffee man. What do you have brewing this morning? Uh, I've got the blueberry, which is a uh, natural processed coffee from Ethiopia. Um, we call it the blueberry because it tastes like you're eating uh, a fistful of blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> and your menu is pretty small itself, but why do you kind of keep it simple? Uh, we keep it simple because there's not a lot of variation that's going to change what we have drastically enough to have other things. Um, we keep the you know, sort of traditional espresso drinks that are based on a uh, proportion of milk to coffee. Um, we keep some pour overs of different flavor varieties just to keep it keep it varied and try to cater to somebody. Yeah, keep it different and keep it new. This is their second uh, business day open on a weekday and they have had a lot of foot traffic. So if you work downtown, if you're in the area, definitely stop by. The guys are nicer than you could even imagine. Uh, and it's a really great place to be, especially now that they're trying to kind of pick up on this downtown business boom and stick around here. We're live in downtown Buffalo. I'm Twila Nugent. Seven Quite interesting how they were supplying perks and now they're competing against them in downtown Buffalo. Twilon, thank you. The county